going on guys John here and welcome back to the channel now there's been a lot of talks about hardware 4 and the next generation of full self-driving hardware that's to come inside of your Tesla's well the thing is that there has been a delay in that and things have been pushed back a little bit we haven't really heard anything ever since AI day back a few years ago when uh, Elon did tease us with hardware 4 he mentioned that it's gonna be substantially faster than hardware 3 even though that hardware 3 was just being released that year that in itself gave us an idea that hardware 3 was not gonna be enough and hardware 4 was already in the works all right so here's the kicker back in June of 2022 which is this year Tesla had filings that they were gonna be releasing a brand new radar system a high-definition radar which was leaked a couple times with the Model X design their catalog it showed that there is gonna be a new design with new brackets going to be placed in future cars and this is supposedly gonna be working alongside the Tesla vision system so that means that Tesla vision is not gonna be the sole purpose of full self-driving anymore that they are going to be relying on a new hardware now they can rely on the new radars instead of the ultrasonic sensors and especially since it's hd it can really determine exactly where items are when you're backing up or when you're moving forward into something all right so let's go back to the june filing with the fcc so tesla did say that they were going to come out with a new hd radar as well as some other new hardware as well and they really wanted to make it confidential now here's the kicker they had a six month period for for that to happen however it was set to expire in December 7th it means that the FCC was gonna only keep it confidential keeping it quiet up until this point and then it had to be released to the public of what's gonna be happening in future cars well the time has come and Tesla is completely not ready with the hardware yet with implementation in newer cars now I did mention that in a previous video if you guys want to check that out there were some spy shots and some leaked images of model 3s that were covered up especially hiding the new radars and maybe Maybe the new hardware cameras as well if you guys want to check that out like I said I'll leave a link up top there and I'll drop it in the description as well but now let's go back to the filings here that were made public for all of us to view now this is because Tesla requested an extension on that confidentiality but it did not happen somehow it was leaked and it shows that a new hardware is coming very soon and the exact period that is gonna be coming all right so before we get into the time the date and what's to be coming let's talk about the authorization letter that Tesla sent out to the FCC now this letter here comes directly from Tesla's engineering team by a specific person but it mentions that they don't want unfair competition or harms from competitors because if they leak this early uh, they could use that to their advantage and the fact that it mentioned a specific time that is going to be releasing which is going to be January to February mid month so before you guys go ahead and jump out and get a delivery happening now you guys might be missing out on some of the newer features you don't really know exactly what's to come but one of it is the HD radar now I'll quickly just plop on the screen these two images right here this is another part of the letter and then this is the actual radar system that is going to be coming in future cars so you guys will see right here that it shows that it still gets blocked by certain uh, debris and stickers and whatnot now we're not exactly sure how that would affect the radar especially knowing that it's an HD radar maybe it needs the stickers removed and maybe it needs to physically be clean underneath the bumper that's why there's specific uh, instructions on how to install it but this is going to be a brand new hardware that's going to be a uh, part of your car in the next few months so like I said if you guys can wait out wait out there are incentives right now and I did mention it in the previous video as well Tesla's really pushing their old inventory out so they can add newer inventory in now another thing that adds to this confirmation really is a user by the name of Chris Zhang he's from the supply chain in China he pretty much said that hardware 4 is imminent so it's gonna be coming very soon and he's getting it directly from the source he tweeted it out and I'll just drop it up here for you guys to see as well but that gives us a clear sign that something is happening in the background especially with Tesla covering up their front and their rear bumpers meaning that there's probably gonna be something new maybe a newer design maybe those are where the new Raiders are gonna be placed either at the front at the back or both we're not exactly sure right now but I think it's gonna be a good sign that this is gonna be working with the full self-driving beta package and it's gonna make the experience so much better now we made tons of assumptions on the new camera placements maybe in the headlights maybe on the fender and it's just a simple swapping in and out with older cars 
But at this point, I don't really think that it is compatible with older vehicles. Tesla did promise that full self-driving or city street driving uh, with autopilot is going to happen. And it seems like it really did happen. City street driving is already happening on autopilot. And that is the promise to everyone. They're not really promising that it's going to be completely full self-driving, at least in the current form of the website. So there's no incentive for them to swap unless maybe you pay a bunch of money for new wiring harnesses and whatnot. So if there is a major change, maybe an upgrade to five megapixels, maybe new radar, maybe new sensors, there's a chance that your car is not going to be compatible with it or not going to be upgradable. So I'm saying wait out until the next version comes out. But anyways, guys, for all the disappointing people out there, your car is being upgraded every single day with newer versions of the FSD beta, and it seems to be driving very well in certain parts of the country so we'll just continue with that and we'll see maybe there is a period where hardware 4 is going to be really slow and even worse than hardware 3 because of the fusion and how everything's working so there's going to be that plus side if you guys do have your vehicles and maybe by the time that your car is just getting old and it's reached its limitations you can trade it in get a brand new car and you might be on hardware 5 so there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please hit the subscribe button, that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button as well. This is John once again. Peace out.